right looking in a different uh, different way of uh, add up all those numbers and the break it down those numbers uh, based on that um, chart I showed you earlier see the base here Converting an IP version 4 from binary to uh, dotted decimal notation. Uh, very good. This is now a binary IP version 4 address. As you can see here, we already know that uh, if we break it down into eight, eight, uh, four parts of eight, in a different color here, so it can be easy for you, easy for you to uh, to see it. See those numbers. This portion here. Oh, they've numbers one it's as if it's a switched on and zero is a switched off um, if you put on front of that chart and add all the ones all the number ones put in front of of it pick just the number ones and add them together you get a value of and then you add all of them as well then you get an IP um, a 32 bits in 4 octets please look uh, for there are some exercises there you can download and print it off and uh, there's loads and loads and loads of exercises there not only do we need to be able to convert binary to decimal, we also need to be able to convert decimal to binary. We often need to examine an individual octet of an ad address that is given in a dotted decimal notation. Such is the case when the network bits and host bits divide an octet. As an example, if a host with 172.16.4.20 were using 28 bits for the network addresses. We would need to examine the binary in the last octet to discover that this host is on the network 172.16.4.16. So this process of extracting the network address from a host address will be, ex we will talk about it later. Uh, bear in mind the addresses values are between 0 and 25 because our representation of addresses is limited to decimal values for a single octet we only examine the process of convert 8 bit binary to the decimal values of 0 to 25 so we start off uh, the conversion process we start by the determining if the decimal number is equal or greater than our largest decimal value represented by the most significant bit. In the highest position, we uh, determ determine if the value is equal to or greater than 128. Do you remember that early chart I showed? 128 is the first number. So 172 uh, is it greater or equal to 128? If no, yes it is so on the 8 bit chart we tick the first one as 1 because 172 is greater or equal to 128 see so what we do now is the value 172 minus 128 it, the the rest and the, the, the remain is 44 so both is going to the next the next bit of the octet it's 64 so the remain it's greater or equal 64 no so for go to the next bit of the octet is 32 so 44 it's greater or equal 32 yes we tick the next one is the third bit and then we extract subtract 44 minus 32 the remain is 12 going to the fourth bit to 16 so that's smaller than 16 so we just take zero 
So 12 is greater or equal to 8, which is which, which is the fifth bit. Yes. Check again. 1. So I can see so far it's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So 12 mi uh, minus 8 is equal to 4. So the next bit, which is the 6, 4 is greater or equal to 4. Yes. Check again. 4 minus 4, 0, stop. So all these calculations, converting decimal 172 to binary, it's 1010110. One, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Okay, the 172.16.4.20, uh, we are already done 172, which we already know is 1010110. One, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Uh, we started with uh, 172 minus 128, which is uh, greater than 121, based on that chart of the octet. So the remain is 44, it's less than 64, so we place a zero on 64 position, which is the second uh, bit of the octet. So <coughs> 44 is greater than 32, so we place a one. On the 32 position of the chart and uh, then 32 we subtract and then the remain is 12 so basically that's that's what we did earlier and the answer is that right the 16 if we follow that early chart and they do that 128 64 32 16 one as you can see here then you get the result of four fifth and says once you do one and uh, you keep doing it you'll be all right because then it becomes all natural to you so put it all together the binary uh, IPV version Okay, once you get those uh, those numbers fixed on your head, then you uh, all becomes natural. And uh, this is a com a conversion of a decimal to a binary. The same number, 172.16.4.20. Uh, as you can see here, 172. So. 172 minus 128 equal 44. Then automatically we put a number one there. 44, it's it's smaller than 64, so put a zero. 44, it's greater than 32, so we we subtract. Then we put number one. So those numbers you have to uh, keep in your head those are correspondent to uh, to the eight bits so if you get 100 if you keep in your mind that the octet which is divided by eight bits the first one 128 the second one is 64 third 32 the fourth 16, the fifth 8, the fourth 4, third 2 and 1. So if you keep this in your head, you will, everything becomes natural. You almost, you almost do in your mind. You're going to get so used to it. I'm telling you. <laughs>